Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome your faces to a new video today, part 13 of this series that we're doing at the moment, every single week. Um, if you haven't checked out the last 12 episodes, go check them out. Uh, we, every single week we literally have dissected every single thing over the last like couple of weeks on follow for follow, picking the right game, making your profiles look good. And um, how to network and stuff like that. So I've literally have dissected everything over the last few weeks um, over a couple of videos. And um, hopefully they have been helpful for you so far. If they have, make sure you leave a comment down below. Um, and I'd be grateful to know if any of, this, any of these videos have helped you at any point at all. Um, so yeah, hopefully it has. Uh, but today we'll be talking about this one, uh, which I've left until like kind of at the end. Because I've pretty much covered most of everything that I wanted to talk about. Um, but this one I wanted to kind of leave till like later on. It's like so part 13. I feel like it's a good time to jump on after a few things that we talked about. Um, so over the last few episodes we've been talking about like networking. Um, building your profile out. Putting time and effort into stuff. Um, and sometimes it can be a thing. You put so much time and effort into stuff. But hopefully where you've fixed your stream schedule, where you've got to, had some breaks, you've not been over streaming and stuff like that, um, you have not got burnt out. This is a thing. Everyone hits a bit of a wall when it comes to streaming, like burn, the burning it out phase. And hopefully you haven't hit that wall uh, because it's a very popular thing um, with streamers to get very burnt out. Um, it can be very quickly, it can be a thing that you can probably get burnt out for like a couple of months, maybe a year, maybe two years. Um, is that for me? I go through phases every few months, I might go through, you know what, I'm a bit burnt out in a minute and I might take a few extra days off and like only stream like two or three days a week and like have an extra day off in a week. Um, and it's a very common thing, uh, so like I know some people I know that take breaks every couple of weeks or well not every couple of months i'll have like a two weeks off or something like that or have a month off then come back nice and fresh because that's the thing streaming is one of the things when you're currently doing that at the moment it's a hobby um so you're just like you know gotta get a bit burned out of your that hobby everyone gets bored of playing guitar at some point everyone gets bored of doing drawing at some point um so you look at different things to do you kind of mix up your hobby a little bit um so for me I enjoy streaming. Um, luckily, well, I only do it four days a week, three hours a day on them days. Um, I don't get overwhelmed with it because I'm not sat there for six hours, five days a week. So I don't get really fed up with it too easily. So, um, so I still enjoy it. Um, but it's one of the things when you do hit that wall. What do you do when you hit that wall? Um, what can I do? What what shouldn't I do? And stuff like that. So. When you hit this wall, the burnout phase, you will know when you're burnt out because you start noticing little things. You start looking at your stats. You start getting a bit meh. You can't be bothered to hit the go live button. That's when you know you've hit the phase out. I can't be bothered to stream today. When you haven't got that, like, can't be bothered. Can't be bothered sort of thing. I'd rather sit in my pants and watch Netflix all day. I'd rather just sit and be quiet all day. That's when you kind of like, you know, you're like, okay, that's when the um the burnout phase is coming up sort of thing. Um, and you don't have that buzz that you normally would do for streaming. Uh, you feel like it's kind of, in a way, it's kind of like a chore. It's like, I have to stream because that's, that's, that's what I do. Um, that's what I generally feel like when I do hit the walls. Like, I feel like it's a chore. It's like, I have to force myself to do it. It's like, but now I'm getting better at like, you know what? I will not stream today. I'll just have the day off because I want to sit and do nothing. So that's what I'll do. Um, but sometimes for me as well, because I like to to stream because it puts me in a better frame of mind. Um, and I I know once I've got streaming, I might be better towards the end. But sometimes I have done a stream. I was like, you know what? I should have just took the day off. I really should have because uh, it wasn't the best stream. I was I want my usual self today. Um, so. There's been some days where I've done that and I should have just cancelled the stream and just sat in my pants all day. Um, but it's a common thing. Everyone goes through it. Some days, not you're not always up for every single stream. If anyone tells you they're always up for every single stream, then they're telling you lies. Because something that they've bound to once in their life gone, you know what? 
I just want to sit and watch Netflix all day or play this game off stream today and do nothing, eat Doritos all day. Um, <clears throat> everyone goes through that phase. Really, 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 they really do. But um, when you do hit that wall, um, the general advice I would give to anyone when you do hit that wall is just take a break. It's one of the things, um, when you've hit that wall, um, the best things that you, I could suggest for you to do is take a step back from Twitch, do other things, don't constantly, it's like for me, I come home, I sit on Twitch um, and play games. That's a very heavy cycle for me. I do that like 90% of my week, no, 95% of my week. Uh, but for me, I'm getting better now. So it's like Monday to Thursday, I'm on Twitch a lot. But when it comes to the weekend, I'll be on Twitch, but not a lot. Um, I'll be lurking around on Twitch, I will be. Um, and doing other stuff like watching Netflix or just chilling and playing games and not really being on Twitch. So I'm trying to make that divide. So when it comes to the weekend, I don't go on Twitch pretty much. Um, unless I'm leaving, I offer like a lurk for someone and stuff like that. Um, but I try my best to kind of that divide now when I'm on Twitch during the week, I'm on Twitch. When it comes to my weekend, I'm off Twitch sort of thing. Um, and kind of doing other hobbies as well can always help having that separation. Trying to not, because that might delay the burnout as well. That can be very helpful having other hobbies. Um, and that could probably prevent it very less as well. Because if you only have streaming as a hobby, then you will get burnt out pretty easy and you can't be bothered to stream as much. Um, but just try, when you come to that phase where you burn out, just take a step back from Twitch. Maybe just say, I'm going to take a couple of days off or just take a week off. Uh, but try and do other stuff with your week off. All right, try and do other stuff. Don't just be like, I'm having a week off on streaming, but I'm still going to watch streams. Just literally don't watch Twitch for a week. Just have a break, do other stuff. Go watch a, a movie or movies and stuff like that. Go out for a walk. Do other things other than just be on Twitch. Because you kind of you lose reality a bit when you're on Twitch too much. Because you kind of go, oh yeah, I enjoy. I used to enjoy doing this before I started watching Twitch more and streaming and stuff like that. Um, and it's a good, it's, it's healthy. It's good for you. It's good for you, like, definitely you love that stream mentality it's because you feel better because having other things to do then when you come to come back to twitch on after you've done that thing you kind of go you know what i love streaming i do it's fucking it's so good so good um and don't feel like it's the only hobby thing the only interesting thing you do in your life um but just just, just like take a step back maybe just think about, is it the game I'm playing at the moment? Is the game not working for me? Um, just maybe think, because also think like when it comes, not a effect for it burns out, is when your viewership might drop or you're not growing. Just think about maybe time of year, because this is a very popular thing. It's like this time of year, it's currently March at the moment. It's coming to exam time for most people. Um, so my viewership's a bit quieter at the moment because everyone's got exams, um, but it will pick up. I promise you now, everyone, it will pick up. We've got the half term picking up as well um, soon. So always think about what time of year it is, what's going on maybe in the world, um, schools, colleges. Um, you're going to have your quiet parts and you're going to have your down parts. But it's a very natural. It's the same with your mood. It's, you're going to have your goods, you're going to have your downs. It happens. It really, really does. And you got them days where you really want to stream. Some days you really don't want to stream. And when you do get them days, don't be afraid to cancel your stream. Just chill, relax, and eat Doritos. Eat Doritos, okay? Um, and when you're on that kind of like that day where you're like, you know what, I'm not going to be able to stream. I'm going to have a week off of Twitch. Literally take a week off. Don't go on social media. And just try and do other stuff, all right? And when you're in that bubble, when you're on that week off, um try and not to do the whole thing like analyze other people because you might be like what's not working for me i need to look at other people kept and then you start comparing yourself to other streamers it's like i need to be like this i need to be like ninja um and that's where you start beating yourself up because when you come back from that week off you're trying to be like that person and you're finding it's not working you're like oh then you get burnt out really quickly again 
then you end up taking another week off, thinking, what did I do wrong that week? And then you, you, you end up taking like loads of weeks off because um, you're just getting really stressed out about stats and everything like that and just getting bored of streaming. So generally, just try and find a balance of a couple of days off in a week. So I have three days off a week. Um, I stream four days. Then have a little breaks away as well from Twitch. So when you're having a couple of days off, maybe like one week I might be on Twitch over the weekend. Like on Friday, Saturday, Sunday I might be on Twitch over the weekend. But there'll be some weekends I'm not on Twitch. So it's nothing wrong. I'm not saying completely don't scrub out Twitch from your like your weekend routine. Uh, but just make sure you have breaks as well. It's good to have like time away from the platforms like... Generally, like, today, for myself so far, I've not been on Twitch today. I've just been kind of, like, chilling, relaxing, and um, making videos, doing other stuff, uh, other than being on Twitch. So, it's worked out well. So, generally, just try and um, make some more time to do other stuff. Don't just be always in the bubble of Twitch. Uh, then that will delay the burnout, and you will uh, enjoy the platform for a little bit longer. Um... But generally, like, if you are new to Twitch streaming and you're, like, struggling at the beginning, it will get better. It takes time. Twitch is way more harder. Just always remember in the back of your head, um, every second you go live on Twitch, another hundred people go live on Twitch as well. So you and hundreds of other streamers are competing for viewers. It's going to be hard, but trust me, in the long run, it'll be worth it. But when you do get to that point, you need a little break. Take that break. Don't be scared to do it. Then come back when you're ready. Have a week off, two weeks off. Have a month off. But don't make it constantly. Because if you do it too much, that's when people start getting a little bit like, you know what? You just you, you stream for one week, then you're not here for two months. Then you're back for a, two days, then you're off for, a, for a three months. And you, you, you won't, you'll lose that consistency with it and you'll... Before you know it, you just won't bother streaming at all. So, if you want to be consistent with streaming, that's what I suggest. Everything I've just said, really, in this video, you know what to do. I'm not going to repeat myself. And um, hopefully this helps you. Um, if you do get burnt out, do feel free to come to our, my Discord, uh, the StreamFam server. Uh, myself, the staff members, other streamers will help you the best that we can, give you advice, because uh, this is a very heavy topic when it comes to streaming. Um, so if you are a streamer, you are at that moment, at the moment, burnt out, and you don't know what to do, and this advice has not really helped you, well, I can't actually talk to an actual human, come and join the StreamFam server, um, it's, there's a Discord down below, there's a Twitter as well, feel free to tweet at us as well, we can try and respond to your tweet as soon as we can, uh, but you can find all the info down below. Hopefully this has helped you, uh, have an awesome rest of your day. Um, and if there is any topics that you want me to cover or go over again, leave a comment down below and I'll make sure, make sure to get around to doing it, alright? Thank you all for watching. Have yourself an awesome day. I'll see you later on. Bye.